Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and I'm gonna be doing, um, from now on, I'm gonna do some tutorials, I guess if you wanna call it that, on basically emblems in general. And specifically in this video, I'm gonna be showing how to do gradients. And as you can see on the emblem that I have currently on, uh, the edges of the creeper, they're shaded. So it looks like it's almost uh, in the spotlight or something. It's gleaming compared to a flat emblem like these. Anyway, so um, it's going to be a quick tutorial, and I'll have more to come on different things, possibly how to do certain things like, uh, I don't know, how to do the creeper, how to do, uh, let's see here, I can how to do Psy, and uh, how to do C4 or something like that. I'll figure out. I'll figure out things. But this so far, since it's so simple, and I've seen a lot of emblems. See, like I came across this guy who has a gradient on his, and I was like, I wonder how you do that. So I ended up looking up, and I was like, Oh, that's kind of easy. I'll do a video on that. So uh, yep, and here I am doing videos. And uh, it's really simple. All you have to do is I'll go ahead and remove the gradient that I have on here. There are two different types of gradients that you can have on your emblem. So basically, originally I had this creeper. It's just a flat creeper. It's a flat image. And there are two different gradients. There's a flat gradient to where it's uh, linear. It has, it's just one side. And it's, it's hard to explain, but I'll show you. And then over here, this scribble supplies like a blob of a gradient, sometimes like a gleam or something, if you'd like to state it that way. And basically, it doesn't work on A or B because the letters themselves block it, but it does work on C. If you go ahead and click on it, and you zoom in all the way on this little line in here, you'll notice that the edges are gradients. Now if you look at it like this, you can set it right there, turn the opacity down, I'll move it in a little bit, but turn the opacity down to about 50%, copy it, paste it, turn it around, like so and put it like that you kinda almost have like the edges are fading away or you can change the colors to a black and it gives it that cool effect and that's how you do these linear gradients and you can put them on anything that you want put it on this go all the way to the right and I'm gonna go ahead and put one on this one Zoom in all the way. It's like high. Put one like that. Gonna want more than that. Copy, paste, and rotate. And it basically gives it this embossed look or some kind of like 3D effect like that background is kind of is kind of embossed and I think it looks pretty cool. I'll remove the red background to see what that looks like. It doesn't show very much of a difference. So you can put it on anything you want. I'm not going to go into specifics on what you'd want to put it on because you can, you can figure it out by yourself. I'm sure you're not that stupid, but um, I just kind of like it on this creeper because it's a great example. And then there's a blob gradient. I specifically haven't used it very much, but I know there are many uses for it. If you zoom in on this scribble, you'll notice that they have these little blob sections like this. And if you turn the opacity down a lot, like here, it gives it almost like a gleam effect. And you can you can find different locations to where you could like it. But it doesn't allow you to move it too much when it's zoomed in this far. So you can you can put it like this and it gives it that kind of shine almost. Almost like it looks kind of laminated. But uh it doesn't I personally don't think it looks very good on the creeper itself. So uh those are the two different gradients you can do. Oh, I don't want to save that. Oh, well. Um, 
those are the two different gradients that you can do. Uh, you guys can figure out things that you'd want to do by yourself. And uh, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe if you want to do all that stuff. I'm not too big on that. I'm not going to emphasize it like other commentators. And uh, thanks for